And one new step, please. Oh my god. Wait, why would anyone be excited about getting a clue step? Meet Carl Caskets, the clue-addicted, hardcore Iron Man. Carl lives for clue scrolls and obtaining caskets. He only completes quests, obtains gear, and trains skills when needed for a clue scroll. Additionally, he only uses clue step items and clue rewards for his equipment. His main goal is to complete every clue step in the game, starting with every beginner clue step and ending at master, without dying or skipping a step. After grinding out 130 easy clues, Carl is only 16 easy clue steps away from a massive milestone, completing every easy clue step in the game, which will then allow him to start medium clues. Medium clues are going to break the entire game open. We're talking clues requiring quests, training skills, gear upgrades. There's going to be so much more beyond just obtaining the clue scroll. But today, Carl is upping the ante with something that will change the entire series. Though Carl's main long-term goal is completing every clue step in the game without dying, he wants more. Introducing Plan, Fame, and Fortune. Carl wants to be a world-renowned treasure hunter, and there's no better way of doing that than topping Old School RuneScape's high scores. High scores are the leaderboards showing the top-ranked players, and though number one is a far-off endeavor, the top 25 players are listed on the front page, and that would begin to help Carl build a name for himself. Carl is going for the milestone rewards requiring completion of a certain amount of clues in each clue tier. Additionally, there's the collection log, which records every unique drop from various content and old school runescape. When we get to hard clues and above, there's even a mega rare section of the log featuring the rarest items in the game. By unlocking milestones and climbing the clue scroll leaderboard, Carl will fill in a ton of log slots and get extremely rich. And finally, this leads me to a concept widely referred to as short term goals. Carl has a wish list of three items that are extremely important for future clue endeavors. The first is a rune scimitar ornament kit. Obtaining an ornament kit requires me to obtain that item and the rune scimitar is a massive upgrade becoming my best melee weapon until elite clues. Second is an amulet of power trimmed from easy clues, truly the best amulet I could get right now which gives me additional accuracy and defense in all combat styles and a plus six strength bonus in melee combat which will increase my overall damage even further. Lastly, flared trousers also from easy clues. These epic trousers not only change your dance emote, but are required in the future for completing a master clue step. A very far off idea, but it's always good to plan ahead. Yo, first clue of the video, and we get step 140, 15 more to go. Yo, red elegant shirt. No way, that's kind of rare, and it's kind of some... It's kind of some drip. Casket number two. Let's see what we get. Yo, oh, that's cool. Oh, that looks cool. Yo, is that what I think it is? Another new step? Waving on Mudskipper Point. We got to get some items. Sit. Casket? Black plate body H4. Oh, no way. Search the crates near a carton of rock. That's another unique step to us. And we search the crates and talk to the mother of a basement dwelling son. No way. That's another new step as well. 143. Back to back? We have like 12 steps left. Easy casket number 134. 135. <laughs> 136. Uh, <laughs> new step. That is step 144. Wave along the south fence of the lumberyard equip a hard leather body leather chaps and a bronze axe we actually got a back-to-back -back new step are you kidding me that is so lucky casket it is casket opening time let's start with the beginner i mean, honestly it's not like terrible three easy clue caskets casket number one yo collection log feldip hills teleport another six thousand coins another collection log zamorak page three two collection log slots filled in there that's pretty good with only 10 steps left and 155 steps total i would not expect to get too many too soon still have yet to have to go to canifis and i'd really like to unlock that area another casket obtained no uniques but i now have five caskets so i'm thinking it's time to do a little casket opening i think this is gonna be the lucky tile right right by this patch of grass okay Okay, easy casket number one. Nine law runes, I'll take that. 12,000 coins, six law runes. <laughs> Feldip Hills teleport. Beginner casket number one of two. Nothing. Tie Bo one eye teleport. Think in the middle of the wheat field by the Lumbridge Mill. Finally, oh my gosh, it's a unique step. We made it. The last emote step I'm gonna have to do, panic in the limestone mine. So I will know exactly when I get that. Let's start with the beginners. 
Easies. Mm, oh, collection log. Lunar Isle teleport. Okay. Please. Nothing. Oh my god. Wow, those were very underwhelming. The Rune Scimitar ornament kit, please. Nope. Are you kidding me? Yo, black wizard robe G. Some pantaloons. Oh my god. All right, Gothic's page three and the last casket. Uh, search the drawers found upstairs in East Ardoin's houses is a new step. All right. Absolutely nothing. Here goes nothing. Please, a singular schmeckle of collection log. No, 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 no. That is a collection log slot. Ceridoin page one. No. Okay, leather chaps. Gee, that's pretty sick. 40 prayer protect from missiles. One more protection prayer to unlock. And that's the second beginner casket obtained. Let's open them right now. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Galahad's house. What? Is that new? Oh my god, that's a new step. I haven't had a new map step in like years. Days even. Oh, okay. Surely this fit is going to bring us the, the good luck we need. Whoa, we got dupe mole slippers. No way. 576k? Oh my god. No way, I got duplicate demon feet. Two law runes, okay, okay. Time for the easies. Okay, collection log, bronze, plate legs, G, very cool. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's finally happening. We got another new step. I've done so many clues since the last unique step. Oh, the casket. Quick overview. Six steps left. One of them is an emote step, Panic in the Limestone Mine. I have one song left for Cecilia, which is Rugged Terrain. I have one map step, which is the Falador Statue step. And then I have three other unique steps from just cryptic clues. One is searching crates and canifis. One is searching the drawers in Catherby's archery shop. And the last one is talking to the Doomsayer. Eight beginners, eight easies. Let's open them up. I haven't opened in the drainer bank, so let's hope this brings us some good luck. We'll start with the beginners. Easies, let's hope for some better luck here. Well, 16 caskets, no collection log slots. That is honestly kind of surprising. After doing 13 clues today, no unique steps, but can we get some unique loot? Oh, dude, the freaking bare feet. We actually got something from our beginners. Now, the easies. Oh my, hey there. You might notice, I have 11 easy caskets in my inventory. So without further ado... Yes! Ooh! Collection log slot shoulder parrot. I think I'm gonna have to wear the shoulder parrot from now on instead of my red cape. Oh, amulet of defense trimmed. Something with some actual stats. No way. Oh, that looks sick. Wow, the beginner casket's actually coming through for once. Okay, 138 beginners completed. Nine out of 16 on the beginner treasure trail. We have been evaded by the Rune Scimitar ornament kit, but they can't evade us forever. And if we put the time in, eventually we will get those done. This guy's made of clue scrolls. 11 easy caskets. 20,000 GP and studded chaps with the gold trim on easy casket number 200. Hopefully we get our next unique step pretty soon. No new step. Oh, oh, panic in the limestone mine. Oh my God, it's the last emote step. Five more to go after I finish this steel medium helmet obtained. That is the last item we need for every emote clue step. Panic, casket obtained. Please, can we get a ruined scimitar ornament kit? I'm so ready to get this. Nope, no, no. Hey, collection log slot. Two of them in one red fire lighter and another variant of the black bucket helm nice more recently i've been killing minotaurs to farm the beginners and the easies so i'm curious to see how many 7918 i didn't realize i've killed that many i'm gonna go touch some grass i'll be back all right that's enough grass touching for the month it's time to open some caskets oh wow i actually got a duplicate amulet defense trimmed now for the easy caskets 
Oh, blue elegant blouse collection log slot filled in. Last casket, nothing. A duplicate bandos page four. And one new step, please. Oh my god, actually a new step. Oh, I'm so happy. I might be moving on to medium sooner than I thought. Because I was thinking I'd actually have to do about 300 easies. That's so big. Rugged terrain played, casket obtained. The easy clue openings. Bronze plate legs trimmed collection log slot. Hey, another collection log. The first edition black heraldic plate body. Couple collection log slots. Four more steps to go until we can start the medium clue grind. Let's see if we can get anything from these 11 caskets. Uh, can we get anything from the easies? collection log slot the powdered wig i'm looking quite official today ah yes i can see the clickbait title already loot from 10,000 minotaurs that'll make people want to click on the video oh collection log slot steel plate skirt trimmed okay from here on out, you may notice that I'm not using the Clue Hopper plugin. I found it extremely fun and engaging to do clues without it, and at the start of the medium clues, I might consider not using the plugin for the rest of the series. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. These boxes. Oh my god, I found my first casket without the Clue Hopper. I am a freaking master. We are now going to be opening 17 caskets, 11 beginners, 6 easies. Number 230, exactly 100 easy caskets since the end of last video. If I get a collection log slot from these beginner caskets, that's gonna be sick. Uh, 17 cabbage! Yo, collection log slot! Sandwich lady bottom! <laughs> No new steps. It's been a while since I've had a new step. Another casket opening. Oh my god, I got a black scimitar? Dude, wait, that's actually an upgrade for me. It's not a rune scimitar, but it's it's better than the mace, so I'll definitely take that. Eight more beginners to go. All right. <gasps> yes! Oh my god! Finally! Freaking beginner casket 184, the Sarah Dovin rune scimitar kit. Oh, I have to go grind out a rune scimitar, finally! Eight easy clues. Can I get the amulet of power trim to go with it? Collection log slot, mostly harmless teleport. We must now obtain a rune scimitar, and we're gonna do that by killing Zamorak warriors and safe spotting them, because I think that's probably the easiest way. Oh, 48 magic. I have surpassed 50 kill count, which is the drop rate, so I'm officially dry on the rune scimitar. Oh, dang, they dropped some rune. <gasps> yes, there it is. Oh my gosh, I actually got it. Literally one kill after I said I was going dry. 51 kills for the rune scimitar. Oh my gosh, yes the freaking rune scimitar. I'm gonna keep doing beginner clues still, but I'm gonna be focused a lot more on the easies. Beginners, it's more just like finishing the collection log, getting up on high scores, and getting the milestone rewards. I swear this, oh my god. I, on average, two, oh my god. One hit, one hit, one, two. I swear to god, I don't hit these minotaurs more than three times anymore with this rune sim. Amazing. Oh my god, I just hit seven. Whoa, gee, I didn't even expect that I was not prepared for that. At this point, with 20 easy caskets stacked up and 240 completed. That puts me at 260 total easy clues. And based on my calculations, I've done about 42 easy clues without a unique step. Probably gonna be another 100 to 200 clues at this rate. Hey, if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Dude, my range setup looks awesome. He's literally the freaking coolest looking character in this game. No one's cooler. 21 ranged and 550 total level. Oh my God, I finally got an easy clue. 
finally. I have done this step before. That's unfortunate. <gasps> oh my god! It's the Cath of the Archery Shop step! It's been so long. I knew I was gonna get a new step soon. Never did I think getting a single clue step would take my breath away like that. Three steps left. The drawers have been searched. Back to back? Nope. We are opening caskets and we have a lot of them to open. Nine beginners, 21 easies. Here we go. Oh my god. I got another rune scimitar ornament kit, and it's a dupe. I guess I'm gonna go get another rune scimitar. I feel like every ornament kit I get needs to be attached to the item. 21 easy caskets. Collection log, iron, full helm, trim. Oh, the second Bob shirt on the account. Let's go. Hey, red elegant legs, nice. Another collection log. Oh my god, I got the freaking ham joint. That's so sick, and the gold apron. That's one of the most valuable items you can get from Easy Clues, so that's freaking insane. Oh, black beret. We just filled in a lot of the collection log, honestly. We're up to 106 collection log slots filled in. In total for easy clues, we're up to 261 completed, 59 out of 131. And we're back, 50 magic. <gasps> Oh, yes, finally. Oh, I kind of went dry for this one, too. 155 kills for the second rune scimitar. And with this rune scimitar ceradomen ornament kit, I make a second rune scimitar with the ceradomen symbol on the bottom. If only I could dual wield them. That would be freaking awesome. Back to the minotaurs. That's 30 range. Oh my god, no way. That's the that's the step. This is the final map step I needed. Oh, two more. And one of them takes me to Canifis, so I have to do my first quest still. It's just so unexpected, man. It's like when you're doing like PVM and bossing and you get you just get the drop like way earlier than you'd expect. You just have no idea. It's the same hit of dopamine, I'm telling you. And I've only done seven easy clues. I guess this is the eighth one since my last step. So that's a, a, a huge difference from the 40 plus that I had to do to get the last one. And party on Falador. So at the completion of every map step, it leaves me with two cryptic clue steps. One of them is the one in Canifis, and the other one is talking to the Doomsayer in Lumbridge. I have a really crazy feeling that the last place I'm gonna end up going is Canifis. That would just kind of be poetic at this point. Let's do this thing. Let's start with the beginners. Easy clues. Any clue could be the last one. I mean, there's Guaranteed to be two steps on an easy clue. I could just happen to get both the ones that I've never gotten before. No way. It's still the same day. I don't remember the last time I got two steps in the same day. I am in disbelief right now. I have one step left. Any singular clue step could be the last clue step. I'm so excited. I could actually finish this before 300 easy clues. The final step for easy clues that I have to complete before moving on to medium clues and progressing further into this journey is search the crates in Canifis, which requires completion of a priest in peril, my first quest that I'll actually be able to complete on the Carl Caskets account. Seven caskets, okay, and the 200th beginner. Oh my god, I got a jester cape. Oh my god, I actually got a collection log slot. It honestly matches my fit really well, so I'm gonna kind of retire the shoulder parrot as long as I'm rocking my black armor. That looks really good. Let's see if I can get anything from the easies. Armado page one. Nothing, just some blue fire lighters, so not much exciting on that last one, but we are one clue step away. This will be definitely like the end of an era for this account. I am running out of law runes, so I think I'm gonna have to open some caskets right now. I will just be very happy to get law runes because I don't really feel like going back to the mage bank in the wilderness to get more. Black Shield H4. I think that completes all of my Black Shields. Yeah, I have one of each now. Nice. Yo, Master Scroll Book. That's so good. We'll just put all those inside the Master Scroll Book. 
Collection log slot, studded body trim, pretty cool. As well as five law runes. Yes, 10 law runes. Collection log and another 10 law runes. Armadillo page three. Collection log, studded chaps trimmed. And easy clue number 300 is nothing. With 300 easy caskets, I'm also getting a lot closer to finishing my first milestone reward, which I believe for easy clues is a large spade, which you can't do anything with, but I mean, it's just a nice flex. It's a, it's a cool thing to have, especially as a clue scroll specific account. It's been a while since I've recorded a clip, but my second to last step was on clue 274. So it's been about 44 clues since I got the second to last step and I'm still hunting the cannabis step but I want to open these caskets they've been stacking up for too long oh I actually got the sandwich lady hat that's really cool Carl caskets is ready to take your sandwich order 18 easy caskets oh steel plate legs trim new collection log slot black kite shield trim oh bandos page three that actually completes my Bandos book, so when the time comes, I can actually get a full Book of War. Mini casket opening, only eight. Oh my god, no way! I actually got the Amulet Power Trim! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, that's so good! That is the best amulet I could have right now! I think I'm actually maxed out on my damage that I could get for now. This is actually the best gear I could have. There's nothing better I could get. Oh, wow. Double collection log on the last casket. Wow, this was a really good casket opening. With my newfound powers, I was curious at the max hit differences with all the gear between the Black Mace, the Amulet of Power Trimmed, and the Rune Scimitar. So, okay. Current max hit with just the Black Scimitar is an 11. Okay, the max hit is going to be 15 with just the Rune Scimitar. Oh, a 16 max hit. Oh my gosh. So the Amulet of Power Trim gave me an extra max hit. That's so good. It's been something like 50-ish clues since I got the second to last step, and I I feel like it's got to be soon. That is a shield, my guy. This step cannot avoid me forever. This leads me to something that is incredibly interesting. Clue step mathematics, which probably sounds extremely boring, but out of pure curiosity, I've wondered how the game determines which step is assigned when the clue is checked, so I reached out to the man who knows all, God Ash. I asked him how the chance to obtain a specific clue scroll step works, and he responded. First, the game chooses a type of clue, such as an emote clue, coordinate, music, etc. He specifies that you cannot get two music steps back to back. Additionally, the waiting for each type tends to match the number of clues that exist for for that type. Then it selects the clue. This was news to me. I had been under the impression that music was included in the cryptic clue category, but it's actually separate, which entirely changes how many steps there actually were to complete. Instead of 155, there's actually 161 because each music song is independent. At this point, I've already seen every music step, so I still require only one step to complete easy clues. Additionally, knowing that the clue categories are weighted differently changes things and explains why Charlie or Reldo steps seem to occur more frequently. Since each Charlie item is its own step, Charlie is weighted higher and is more likely to occur. I also need to know if cryptic clues were further categorized, but Mod Ash confirmed that they are classed together. With this knowledge, I attempted to calculate the probability of obtaining a specific cryptic clue step, aka the Canifus step. As I've stated before, I'm not a mathematician, so I could be very wrong, but I took the estimated weights of the four easy clue categories. Emote, cryptic, maps, and music. I assumed three steps per clue and found each clue has a chance of 97.96% to have at least one cryptic clue step. Next, I calculated the probability of getting one specific cryptic clue step, aka the Canifus step. Given there are 117 cryptic clue steps, when calculating the chance of obtaining the Canifus step, I have a 0.87% chance, about 1 in 115 per easy clue scroll I complete. So what does this mean? Honestly, nothing. The matter of fact is this is entirely entirely a game of luck. I could get the last step next clue or in a thousand clues, but knowing the odds is interesting given my math is correct. If you're better than me at math, please let me know if this is accurate or if I'm way off. Now, back to the caskets. Oh, uh, this is the first time I've accidentally opened a casket. Uh, I just accidentally got two wood cutting. I, cl I clicked to walk over here and I looked away, dude. No, my cow, it's soiled. Soiled it. I'm not allowed to train skills. The clue step didn't say to. I'm so disappointed. Another casket. I have four law runes left. So I think it's time to open some caskets in hope of getting some more. Two beginners. 
Nine easy casket. Oh, the collection log, black plate body trimmed. Oh, an elegant piece. Minotaur, 20,000 killed. Another 10 caskets for our man, Carl Caskets. Oh, Zammy Roblex, nice. That is 210 easy clues since the last video. 81 strength and 92 combat. Caskets. What the heck? 15 caskets, not a single law rune, not a single collection log slot. I'm starting to question if this clue step even really exists or if it's just a fake. Surely no one has done the stronghold of security questions more than I have at this point. And that is another 10 easy caskets, 86 clues completed for the last step we need. Three beginners, 10 easy caskets. Another disappointing clue session, honestly. Still no law runes from that. 39 ranged and 575 total level. Carl is 40 ranged. 12 caskets. Let's see if there's any collection logs. Okay, collection log. Guthix page one, nice. Those were pretty sad. Honestly, I really just need some law runes at this point. I'm running low and I don't want to go to the wilderness. And casket. 374 easy clues. That makes exactly 100 since I got the second to last step. And Carl gets a regular baguette. 48 range, 49 range, and Sears Village. Crate in the Ardoin Church. You know it's bad that I've done so many easy clues at this point without the plugin that I have this step memorized. Posidius. Port Surim. Sears Village. Canifus? No Canifus. Yanil. Ned in Draenor. Casket obtained and it's back to the Minotaurs. Another clue, Rimmington. Rimmington again. Yay, Carl Caskets has reached 50 range, which I think is a good stopping point considering I have about 80 iron arrows left. With 50 range, I can actually wield a magic bow, which is not something I'll be able to do for a while, but it is a good unlock. And still I get- Oh! <gasps> <laughs> That's so cool, what? I actually got a stale baguette on Carl Caskets. Too bad he doesn't care, not a clue item. Okay, I literally don't have this thing on any other account. Like, I, this, this is the first stale baguette I've ever gotten since I've started playing this game. That's pretty cool. We got nine caskets, three beginners, and six easies. Okay, my third pair of mole slippers. Hey, oh my gosh, finally another collection log for easy clues. Hey, Carl's 77 hit points. It's crazy how many times I've gotten every other cryptic clue step anywhere from like two to like 20 times. We are now at 389 easy clues. It has been 100 and 15 clues, which is the approximate drop rate from what I calculated, which of course could be very wrong. Okay, we got some law runes and a bronze full helm trim. We take those. Oh, bronze plate body with the gold trim. Yes, H for page four. Oh my gosh, flat plate lidge trim. Still hunting that last step, but at least we got some good unique rewards. The time has come and I may do something regrettable. I'm going to the wilderness. I have one law room to my name. <sighs> Please don't let me die here. Oh God, that's just me. We made it, thank god. What a terrible way to have lost Carl if that would have happened. 300 law runes, over 300 cosmic runes. I spent about 90,000 gold. Hopefully this lasts me a long time. I don't really want to have to come back here ever again, so... I remember this being my very first emote clue step that I got when I started the easy clue grind. Now I've done 400 easy clues. Let's open some caskets here. 11 easy caskets. Hey, we get a collection log on the first one. Bronze, full helm, gold trim. And an armadil page four. Nice. 400 easy treasure trails have been completed. I'm quite convinced that I have seen every single clue step three times at least, except for the one that I need. And I'm 
I'm fairly convinced that there's a bug. It just seems so unlikely that I would not get this clue step, and I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the game. It's a, I feel like I'm going crazy right now, honestly. But at the same time, this is just such an obscure goal that I don't think anyone else is going for. I would highly doubt that the clue step itself would be locked behind already having Priest and Peril unlocked because in later clues, you have to do quests in order to just do clue steps. So I'm extremely, extremely doubtful that it's locked behind me having to do Priest and Peril first, but that would just be so weird if in this one scenario, I had to do Priest and Peril first in order to unlock a clue step. And another casket obtained. Nice. Iron Kite Shield Gold Trim. Uh, no. <gasps> Wooden Shield G. That's so cool. 417. Easy clues completed. I cannot believe I'm still doing this. That's when I found something that entirely changed the course of Carl Caskets. On January 14th, two days ago, I posted this on Twitter. I wanted to know if anyone had actually seen this clue step because I can't seem to find it. About a day later, I then proceeded to tweet at Mod Ash because I wanted to know if this was something that was locked behind Priest in Peril. And what I found was that the clue step is actually gated behind Priest in Peril. Something that is unique only to this clue step, where you actually do have to unlock the area before doing the clue step. I have been searching for this single clue step for over 140 clues, and it led me to believe that this was the case. And if I hadn't tweeted at Mod Ash, I would have been doing hundreds upon hundreds of clues without reaching this conclusion. So thank you so much, Mod Ash. And I really do hope it's the singular exception, because like I said, I'm the only one who's ever gonna be doing a grind like this. There's only one thing to do right now, that's to do Priest in Peril. And and so with 417 easy clues completed, Carl for the first time will be leaving the stronghold of security not to do a clue scroll, but it's time to do Priest in Peril. Here's the second batch of 25. The river is safe. The quest is completed. 1400 prayer XP. And here we are, we're in the land of Mauritania, the land of the swamp. This means that I should be able to do this clue step, there should be nothing holding me back. This clue is completed right here in this shop. All I need to do is search these crates, which is where the clue will be. Let's go get ourselves some easy clues, this is it! Can't believe we're actually here. The ambiance is palpable here. Oh my god, just like that, our first clue. Please! Oh, Cecilia step. Osidious. Oh, Oh, clue, crystal key, for Thorpe. 30,000 Minotaur kill count. 24 easy caskets obtained so far since completing Priest of Peril. 41 easy caskets since completing Priest in Peril. At the end of the day, if I just keep putting in the effort, that step's gonna come to me eventually. I know that we can do it. And I know that at the end of this grind, there is so much waiting for us. And the last step of this clue, casket number 50, talk to the mother of a basement dwelling son. I got pretty excited after finding out the news that I I found a single exception in the game that hadn't been seen before. I don't really know what to say. My only real option is just continue doing the clues, really. Eventually the step will come. I know when this grind is over, I'm gonna be so happy. So bring it on, game. In the end, there's only one option. It's I'm gonna get this clue step one way or another. Even if I have to kill a hundred thousand minotaurs, I'm gonna get this last step. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what makes the game what it is. It's just setting goals and working towards them. And it's not like I'm going for anything flashy, like a very rare pet, or like I'm going for an end game piece of gear, but it's gonna feel just as good when I finish this off. And there's another casket, number 51 in the stack. 83 strength, 61 caskets, no step yet. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. It's done! I I didn't think it existed anymore. It's the last step and I'm done. Every easy clue step has been found. Finally, holy crap. Four. 
179 easy clues. It's over. I can move on after this. To Canafis, to the Swamplands, yes! 35,793 Minotaurs, along with 1,433 Minotaurs that I killed on mobile for a total of 37,200 26 minotaurs not to mention that i also have 62 easy caskets to open and i'll have 15 beginner caskets as well hello rufus i'm here to search some crates the last easy casket for now and the icing on the cake for all of this would really be if i could get some flared trousers that is the last item that i really need from easy clues and if i get that from there on out it's just Grinding easy clues for the sake of collection log and getting high scores. 15 beginners. Let's see if we can get any collection log slots. Oh, a duplicate monk robe shrimmed. All right, no collection log slots from our beginner caskets, but that puts us at 258 beginner clues completed. And now 62 easy reward caskets. Ancient page three, the first collection log slot. 435 gives us black full helm trimmed. 44 more easy caskets, casket number 436. Oh, ancient robe legs, and I got noticed in, in game. Oh, leather body gold trim, look at that. Oh, baby. Oh, black plate body H5. Does that give me every black heraldic plate body? It does. That was the last one I needed. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, okay. Black helm H3. Just need one more. Only need the black helm H2 now. A Guthix robe legs? Oh my gosh. The collection logs are rolling in right now. Oh, Guthix robe top to go with the Guthix robe legs. Oh, golden chef's hat. Oh, that's awesome. Get me now. I got the ham joint. I look like I'm ready to, I'm ready to cook. Let him cook, boys. Six more easy caskets. Okay, ancient page one and one more final easy casket. The last one that we'll probably open for a while gives us a staff of air and air runes. 83 out of 131 easy trail rewards. One last thing at the end of the easy clues, it is customary to see where the account is at. We have 19 days and eight hours, which totals up to 464 hours. So in total, it took us exactly 400 120 hours from the end of the beginner clue era to completing easy clues that gives us a good idea of, of how much time it might take us to do mediums it'll probably take even longer considering how much more of the game we have to play the skills we have to train the quests we have to do there's going to be so much more than just obtaining clues and killing monsters and completing the steps not to freaking mention carl's bank value if we put everything back in the bank we're up to 16.2 million gold we've made 16 million gold from doing four almost 500 easy clues that's insane there's so much more on the table with medium clues and i guess we'll see you in the next adventure oh yes it's the diamond i got it 